and welcome to the newest installment of Meet a Senior and our updates on our recreation and senior programming here in Wappinger. So I am here today with Patsy Moran, who is another one of our most frequent flyers in the Senior Center. We see her multiple times a week, which we're very glad to do. So, you know, the point of this is to help you understand some of the seniors in our community and the really interesting lives that they've led. So Patsy, let's start us off with day one. Where, where was day one for Patsy? Well, day one was when I was born in County Galway, Ireland. Oh, very nice. And uh, came to this country with my mother and my sister. My father was already here uh, when I was a year and 10 months. Oh, okay. So then uh, we lived in Manhattan on the east side, grew mm -hmm. up there. Uh, my father died when I was four, so uh, we were still in Manhattan. And then when I uh, got married, I moved to the Bronx. And then 20 years ago, because I had two, do two daughters living up here. Mm -hmm. at, well, I had one at the time, and then I bought a house with the other one. And got I it. moved up here. Got it. And then when my daughter, oldest daughter, moved to Pennsylvania, she made arrangements for me to take the bus here. Very and, good. And uh, that's how I started here. I started out just at the recreation. Yeah. And then I because I said, I don't play bingo like the old ladies. <laughs> so, so then I gradually started playing bingo. Yeah, and yeah, I've been good. here ever since and yeah. happy to come here. Great, great. Made a lot of friends. So how many kids total? Two, two daughters, right? I have three daughters. Three daughters. And 11 grandchildren. 11, and who, who's the oldest grandchild? Uh, Christopher, he's a teacher, he's 31. And who's the youngest? Uh, Evan, he's 10. He's ten, so that's like a, that's a big yes. range. Well, there's ten years between each of the boys in that house. Got it. Got yeah. it. So when you when you came up here, were you working? Were you? No, I had retired. Uh, my mm -hmm. last job was at uh, I was a receptionist in a dental office, mm -hmm. and uh, then when I moved up here, naturally, when I didn't drive, mm -hmm. I couldn't work. Got it. And Got it. So first of all, I have something to tell you about Patsy that's very important. Patsy's in our exercise classes, and she exercises in heels every time. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, she exercises in no. heels. So no, I have shoes that have yeah. a rubber sole, but they don't look like sneakers. But I do have sneakers. I go to Gold's Gym sometimes, okay. twice a week. Yes, yes. So and she, Patsy is our fashionista. Well, thank you. Yes, absolutely. I, I don't like sneakers. I can't no. walk in sneakers. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. And they're not stylish enough for you. Of course. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> oh, so when you first came to the Senior Center, what, w what were some of the first activities that you joined up in? Well, I joined because of the exercise. I came mm -hmm. here for a meeting about the dial ride buses mm -hmm. and uh, the director at the time started talking to me. And uh, when she mentioned exercise, I said, all right. So I used to just come to the exercise. Mm -hmm. And then uh, gradually, because I, then I had to sit and wait for the bus. So I, mm -hmm. would, I started playing bingo. So it's a really good thing, because we didn't talk last time much about the bus. The person that we interviewed last month doesn't take the bus. So this is a, a good plug for us. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience using Dutchess County dial ride And it's a reasonable price. Uh, I take it to, uh, for instance, tomorrow I'm going to Target. Yeah. Uh, you can go to the, I go to the doctor in Poughkeepsie. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is fine. So you've been using dial ride for, what, seven, eight years now? Oh, more than that. More than more that? More than that, about yeah. 15, 16 years. Wonderful. Because my daughter went, had to, uh, her husband's job relocated to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So she made arrangements about the bus, and I, I used to go to the library, the post office, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, That's it's great. very good. It's good. And, and they pick you up and drop you off right at your house. Right at the door, and the drivers are all very nice. They Aww. can't be nicer. Really. Very good, very yes. good. I've noticed that. They're kind of helpful. They help people get their stuff on and off. Right, we they're have, very good. We have some folks with walkers. They'll help them get right. those on and some off. Some days we have three walkers. Another day I was on. Uh, there were two wheelchairs and a walker. Yeah, know. so that's that's a service that we offer in Wappinger. Uh, you can actually go to the Dutchess County Transit website and learn more about 
dial a ride which is the Dutchess County website which I don't know off the top of my head but I'm sure we'll be able to get it for you um, so now that you've been with us in the senior center for many many years yes <laughs> what are some of your favorite things that we've got going on right now well of course we all like the trips Mm -hmm. uh, we go on various trips, and I enjoy the bingo and so yeah. on, yeah. and the birthday celebrations are very like good. today. We've got yes. a packed house today. Yes, uh, okay. every month we have a packed yeah. house that yeah. day. Yeah, and uh, no, it's it's very good. the luncheons, the trips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Very good. Yeah. So, this is going to go on YouTube, in t including you know other than just our television channel. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> give us a shout out to your family around the world, because you said you've still yes. got family in Ireland. Yes, to all my relatives in County Galway, my uh, cousin in Perth, Australia, and uh, I, I have them all over, <laughs> all over the, uh, the world. Because I'm Irish, we have a lot of relatives. <laughs> I uh, trust me, my you dad's know, my dad know. is one of nine. I know the feeling. Oh. And My, according uh, to Ancestry, I'm only 63% Irish, though. I'm what? 93. That's amazing. And, and I'm 1% Scandinavian. Wow. What's your favorite thing about being Irish? Everything. I love everything Irish. Everything about yes. it? I'm very prejudiced. <laughs> no, I, I yeah. love everything Irish. Very good. All right. Well, thank you, Patsy. That was the best thing to end it on. <laughs> oh, favorite thing about being well, Irish. Thank, thank you. You are welcome. So uh, this is the season of all of our holiday events coming up through the beginning all the way to the end of December. And then we start fresh in the new year with a lot of programs and events. But what's coming up closest on the horizon is first on December 7th at 5 p.m. Schlott House Park is our Christmas tree lighting. It starts at 5. We try to have that tree lit by 5.30. And after that, we get a visit from the man of the hour, Santa. It's a completely free event. Uh, the first 250 kids that are there, we have a gift bag for them. Uh, and then outside of that, everybody gets a candy cane, of course, and a visit with Santa. Make sure you bring your phone or your camera. You can take your own pictures. There's no charge for that either. Also, all of the refreshments are free and we've got a craft for the kids. And we try to keep that event moving kind of as quickly as possible because it might be chilly. So we'll, uh, we'll try to keep things rolling for you. So we don't have an end time on that one. So what we recommend that you get there at five and stay with us until your child has had their visit with the man in red. So we really hope we'll see you there. It's always a fun event and uh, we'll give you some hot cocoa to keep you warm while you're with us. The other big holiday event that we have coming up is for the seniors. Every year we do a free luncheon at the Elks Lodge on 376 in Wappinger. It's open to about 100 seniors. Last year we were on a wait list, so this year we're doing two days, December 10th and December 12th, so we can accommodate more seniors. Uh, you sign up right here at Town Hall. You do have to register in advance. There's no walk-ins. And it's you come here to Town Hall, you see DOT, we'll give you tickets, and then you can go to the Elks on one of the two days that you have chosen to go. Uh, it's a really great event. We love it because Santa comes there too. We always love to uh, have our seniors with Santa because we all believe in the Christmas spirit and it's a good time to get together with friends to meet people from the community that you might not know and just really enjoy yourself so if you're interested in that event please come to town hall you have to be over 60 and you have to live in the town of wappinger and then we'll get you all signed up all right so those are our two big things going on right now and then hold tight Oh, hold on to your hats because we've got a lot coming in 2020 that we can't wait to tell you about. So thank you for tuning in to another episode of all of our recreation updates and our Meet a Senior of the Month, Miss Patsy Moran. 
uh, hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving, a great holiday, and just a joyous season. This is the best time of the year to be together with your friends and family. And we hope that we're part of your friends and family. So we wish you the best. Thank you.